Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and today, uh, Tuesday, March 7th, 2023, we have a new Chrome version. So this is the time of the month for a new version of Google Chrome. The uh, web browser, of course, gets updates every four weeks, roughly every four weeks. And, uh, well, this is the latest. If you want to have the latest Chrome, you go to the upper right corner, three vertical dots you go about help and about google chrome and you will be sent to version 111 so um it's interesting to see that they're bringing these new versions all the time especially when you look at it reminds me a little of the uh, the insider program new versions but nothing much to talk about there are a few things within the flags that can be you know tweaked like the download bubble which actually adds when you download files a, a little bubble here that even has a number for the number of files downloading and so on. So there are these things that are there, but they're, they have to be enabled with the flags. Uh, there's a expanded picture-in-picture -picture API for um, you know when you want to actually uh, do something else but have a small picture of your video playing uh, whatever that's happening uh, on, in videos and stuff like that. Smoother transitions for web apps. Stuff stuff that most people won't even notice in general. So this is really another, I, I'll, I'll say it as I want to say it, another pretty boring release for Google Chrome uh, in general. Now there is one little thing that is interesting and it's in the privacy and security. And the privacy and security, when you do a safety check, one of the things that has been added in this version is the ability to tell you that um, uh, what, you know, remove the permissions, if you want, revoke permissions for websites that you haven't visited for a while. So, you know, we go through so many websites, especially if you go a lot on the internet. And, you know, websites tend to ask you for permissions to uh, all sorts of things. And, you know, you're going to say yes, and then you're going to forget about the website. And then, well, you know, websites still there still can have all the permissions if you ever go back. Well, websites that have been visited more than two months ago now, when you do the safety check, all the permissions will be turned off. That means that these websites will need to ask you again for permissions if you go on these sites uh, after two months. So that's not a bad idea. I think too many websites are actually, you know, having so many properties and so many uh, privacy, you know, oriented um, settings that, that, you know, uh, I think it's a, a good idea that uh, two months is, is not bad. I'd even remove, revoke them, honestly, for a month, but uh, that's one of the features for security in here. Now, you might say, well, I'm not really interested in anything that it has to offer. Well, one thing that might be very interesting to you is the fact that it actually um, has 40 security flaws that are fixed, and just for that, it's really important to move on to the new version of Google Chrome for at least the security aspect as updates is the number one security. After what you do, after updates, these are the two 95% of all the security. Your antivirus is not even 5% of security on the system. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.